Kaboom! Okay, so we got a typewriter. We're gonna save because it is possible to very easily die during this section. Um, yep. Barry might die. I'm not sure. If he does, rip in pieces. <laughs> if Wesker dies, great. Ripperoni and pepperoni, Barry and Wesker. Oh, wait, I think Wesker only shows up on the Chris playthrough, actually. Maybe. So we're not going to encounter. I don't think we're going to encounter Wesker down here. Wesker, you big dumb nerd. You coward. Join us on the <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> <laughs> That's how Resident Evil 5 should have ended. Chris that and been Wesker great. punching each other, just punching each other to death in a volcano. Why does Chris and Wesker have a relationship like uh, that? those two characters from Yakuza Majima and Kiryu? <laughs> but like not like Majima and Kiryu's relationship is very weird because it starts out as like Kiryu really doesn't like him. Uh -huh. Because he's always harassing him. And Majima likes him because he's a good fight. He's one of the few people who can give Majima a challenge. But then as the series goes on, like, Majima manages to endear himself to Kiryu. Like, by the second game, you, like... Majima is basically Kiryu's friend because Majima <laughs> tries to go straight like he tries to go straight and start a construction company and Kiryu's like okay we need somebody to defend Kamurocho while I'm out doing shit the only person I know that's as good a fighter as me is Majima so you go to get Majima and Majima's like I'm running a construction company now but because you're my friend I'll help you Kiryu-chan Don't die, Barry. Good luck. <laughs> Ooh. I like how, like, earlier in the game, Lisa's moving around all slow, and then now she can move around really fast. <laughs> For no real explanation. She's got the... She's got mad hops. So good at this game. <laughs> Alright, you're all about to hear it's... the best voice acting line in all of gaming. Yep. It's that so fitting that a, that a Resident Evil boss would be defeated by pushing an object. And then she just kills herself. It's so like, weird. Whatever. Oh, where's Barry? <laughs> oh, there he is. Lisa! Lisa, out! <laughs> Jumps off the ledge. Don't believe that thing's really dead. Well, believe it because we never see her ever again. Place up to me. Go <laughs> I mean, you see those things that are kind of like Lisa in the RE5 DLC. Yeah. But like, you you might see them. I more... guess also in like the other like versions of the game on the Wii and stuff, maybe. They're like tangentially Lisa related. <laughs> Lisa adjacent. Oh my god, I can't believe we're already at the lab. Alright, examine. Pretty sure I'm at the wolf. Yeah. Oh, such a great cutscene. <laughs> Look at all those pixels. I thought this stuff looked amazing when I was a kid. Those cutscenes. I mean, 
in the GameCube version, when it first came out, it did look kind of amazing. This right here, even this looks good. Like this holds up to like today. This looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they managed to get it in widescreen. All right, let's zoom through this lab section. And see Wesker get murdered twice. Oh, said twice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're grounded. Every time we say it, I got to like add their like shout in a video. <laughs> You're double grounded. <laughs> All right. Probably the last save of the game. There's not a whole lot left. You got the tyrant. You got the I thought I had more shotgun shells than that. You've got the end run. Uh, that's pretty much it. So what we got to do is unlock the floors, get the elevator going, and go find that nerd Wesker. And watch him get put on blast. I got to try and remember the password to the computer. One of them is cell. I don't remember what the other one is. The other one might just unlock automatically, actually. Oh. Damn. Roasted. You got to do whatever with the MO disc. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> when you want to get a quick run, you got to do the bad end. Chris is fine. He's a big boy. Like we said, is it really the bad end, though? Um, <laughs> if, if Chris is dead. <laughs> is it user? <laughs> I forgot you had to use a login. Bro. Now I'm thinking about now I'm thinking about the uh the Tron section of Kingdom Hearts too. Ah, the user. Oh no. Is it John? And then Ada? I thought it was Ben that was the dude that Ada was dating. Ah, oh, there it is. John and Ada. No, Ben's the, like, uh -oh. reporter guy. Oh, yeah, Ben's the reporter that's in the prison cell that gets wrecked. <laughs> yeah. So... Hey, don't leave me locked in this cell! <laughs> <laughs> and then Leon's like, whatever, bye. Alright, all floors are unlocked. Now I just got to go find a key somewhere. Oh, and we also got to carry that freaking explosive yep. stuff. Yup. And you got to carry it through the Chimera room. Well, you know what we're going to do about that, actually? <laughs> Save. <laughs> Not yet. Because it's a potential, it's a potential insta kill if they make you drop it. <laughs>
Do I have any more magnum rounds? Is that all I got? Oh, there we go. Oh, only two. That should be plenty. Let's go fuck up some monkey things. Monkey flies. The scariest enemy in Resident Evil. There's something in here. What is it? I think it's just I love the ammo disc, but there is shock. I love in here. the stupid. I love the stupid baboons in Zero. The Eliminators. Yeah. <laughs> what so a dumb stupid. name for them, too. <laughs> Such a ridiculously like badass name for stupid tiny monkeys. That's not the MO disc, is it? Those monkeys almost took out Rebecca. Oh, it is the MO disc. I think this passcode only unlocks this thing, but there might be a key in there that goes to something. It might be a sandwich. Somebody's left over. Jill's a sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> Jill's sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to need you to turn into a crimson head soon, buddy, because I can't have all these crimson heads running around also. Can't have y'all running around with the stupid. Uh, you got to be carrying that stupid thing. Let's go ahead and get this prepped. Locked. Okay. That's locked. All right, hold on. No naked zombie? Oh, there's a zombie here, though. Naked zombies are the most powerful form of zombies. <laughs> they are! Well, at least in Nari 2, the naked zombies in the labs have more health than the regular zombies. Hmm. Did not know For that. whatever reason. <laughs> Getting naked gives you more power. <laughs> <laughs> the nudist like mantra. <laughs> I can't be stopped. As Fraser taught us, the nuns are hard counters to nudist beaches. <laughs> oh, what am uh, I missing? What am I missing? Sadly, Island Dials is no more. <laughs> Mm. Oh, we'll miss we'll miss Island Niles. I think the key is actually in that video room. Blazing fast. Blazing through this game. So I'm gonna need oh, I was in the other room. Blazing through this game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yoink. Some weird number like 1862 or something. <laughs> the year that Spencer was born. I swear if it is 1862, I'm going to lose my damn mind. <laughs> Good zombie. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that he hasn't turned back into a crimson head yet. 
the good zombie. Yeah, but he might cause problems later. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All fine. Let's try 1862 real quick. See how much of a dumbass I am. One. No, that's not what I wanted to type. Gosh dang it. Your arrow <laughs> out of here. <laughs> One. Eight. Six. Two. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there's a four in there somewhere. <laughs> F one zero three Neptune. M A one two one Hunter. T zero zero two Tyrant. Where's T zero zero one? Dead. Who's that man in the glasses on the far right? I like how they're all dressed. Except for Wesker. Wesker's like, it's I get like, special treatment. He's done. He's not wearing a tie. He's got a eight shirt four open. six two. I told you there was a four in there. Oh my god. <laughs> also, Wesker was wearing sunglasses in that stupid slide too. Oh, Wesker, you're so dumb. <laughs> Got the power key. I don't think we picked up Kenneth's tape, so we're not going to even bother trying to watch it. Watch him get wrecked by a zombie. He was the only honest cop on the force. He actually had his body cam. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, I saw where that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> the second you said that. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> Barry's had his own is on the whole time. You get real awkward when he has to explain the shenanigans he's been up to. I don't remember what this room is. I don't need to be here. I should go. This way. It's blazing fast. <laughs> <laughs> Naked zombie? No. Naked zombie? No. Maybe on the higher Naked difficulties. Head. All right, here's what we're going to do for about five minutes. <laughs> he won't be a problem. <laughs> Run through and clear out all the stupid rooms. the chimeras so much. <laughs> They're so goofy, but still scary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> With my dying breath. Oh, got to reload. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, I wasn't even trying to shoot you. <laughs> All right, this room's good. Better pick that up. Just in case. You never know. I might change my mind about how I trust Barry. Oh, there he is. You gotta trust Barry. 
Barry is okay so far. What are you doing? <laughs> Hanging out. God damn it again. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Okay, we got the refueling device. Got to run all the way back. <sighs> Hopefully there's no crimson heads. There's going to be one. We're going to go ahead and save right here. I'm pretty sure that one on the stairs is a crimson head by now. Luckily, we don't have to go up there just yet. Hello, more shotgun shells. Hmm. We're so close. Almost there. Blazing through this game. Remember when I said about an hour ago that I had my last save for the game. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, but, but then I reminded you of potential instant kills. It's like, eh, well. <laughs> so really, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go check on these Crimson Buddies. Hey, that sounds like a good snack. Crimson Buddies? No. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> you know, like the like, uh, what are those things called where it's like chocolate and sour like patch? I was th I was thinking of Sour Patch Kids. No, like not crimson Sour Patch buddies Kids. Are like crimson egg or crimson buddies are the spicy versions of Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> no, like the peanut butter things. Oh, yeah, Nutter you're butters? not going to be a problem. Nutter butters? I don't think they're called nutter butters. Like saying muddy buddies. Butter That's it, muddy buddies. <laughs> saying the peanut butter thing does not narrow it down the slightest. Muddy buddies. That's what I was thinking. Pun you can make <sighs> like muddy buddies, but like crimson somehow. Just make them out of flaming hot Cheetos. Oh no, flaming hot Cheetos <laughs> are crimson buddies. So flaming hot checks would be crimson buddies. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound great. It does not. I will make it though. Recipe to come <laughs> soon. <laughs> I will regret. <clears throat> I will regret bringing this nightmare into the world. Checks with, with, flaming hot Cheeto infused Mountain Dew. Flavoring. Oh gosh. <laughs> just threw up in my mouth. Just full Kyle. <laughs> oh, I'm running with the fuel thing. I should not be doing that. No, you shouldn't. The game was like, that was your grace, period. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> I'm sorry. This kind of shit in video games is the worst. Artificial we've got, we're good of though. the game. We got them all. If I go yeah, this well, way like, too, it's even, I'll avoid it's any not other even things. The, the enemies. It's the fact that you have to walk. Like this yeah. is just artificial padding. Like, oh, the game's not long enough. Drag it out a little bit by making them walk. <laughs> I want a visual novel about walking. And to no. simulate the walking, they like pad the visual novel out. No, that's just any number of walking simulators out there. Those already exist. Oh, the electrical noise from the ceiling scared me. It sounded like a chimera. 
They probably did that on purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> All right. We did it. Now Place I gotta the hit giant something. dildo. Gotta <laughs> press something over here, I think. Thing looked like a dildo, and I'm right. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> this is the most dangerous dildo. <laughs> you use it too fast, and it explodes. Not for sure there was a button over here for the elevator. What? <laughs> I thought I got all you guys. It's a good thing you didn't come out when you had the fuel canister still. <laughs> Bro. Whoa, how did I kill you? You were behind me. <laughs> That's witchcraft right there. The most gracious of hitboxes. <laughs> Bayonetta shit. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Bayonetta's pretty short. That'd be a good LP too. Bayonetta's great. All right, so that starts the elevator. This is for unless the self unless you're trying to hundred percent the game, and then you do the secret boss, and you're like, "Oh God, save me! <laughs> Why did I choose to do this to myself willingly?" There's a way to leave. The mansion without turning on the self-destruct too. That's another version of the ending. <laughs> That's the irresponsible ending. <laughs> and That's the one we're going for. <laughs> no way in should hell I'm walking back this way. Should probably blow this place up and make sure all the monsters don't get out. I yeah, think fuck it. <laughs> we got like five minutes of the game left. Maybe a little more. I'll time it. It's 5.15 a.m. right now. Yeah, I mean, this will be an ending of the game not a lot of people have seen, I'm sure. Because everybody always does the self-destruct shit. Jill. Barry? Barry? Least waited up for, no. Bitch, you, you pulled a gun on me earlier. Don't tell me what to do. I will tease you. <laughs> I got my own partner now. She pulls out the Magnum. <laughs> Look at us both holding Magnums. This is some like action movie shit right now. <laughs> Wesker. <laughs> Wesker, I've come to bargain. Oh, what's up? Don't sound so surprised, Jill. You saw the photo. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Shut the oh, Don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger. If you know, if this had been like Deadly Premonition, Jill would have been like talking to herself the whole time, being like, so it was Wesker. <laughs> I saw it in my coffee this morning. A W. <laughs> An Why A W. Stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. I am Umbrella. But I think you misunderstand me. Hey, Barry, you know what would keep your children safe? If you shot Over Wesker in his head right now. <laughs> Barry, go up on the ground and wait. How many guns are we going to point at her? <laughs> Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I love Barry. He's pretty great. <laughs> Damn. That was a good <laughs> punch <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> punched her with well, a, he punched her with the end of his gun. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't go off. It's the weirdest pistol whip I've ever seen in my life. Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for I don't know. 
<laughs> Wesker himself has no fucking clue what he's doing. <laughs> just hitting I'm buttons. Just, I'm just been winging it these past few hours. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know why I came to this stupid mansion. You know how dangerous it is here? <laughs> It's magnificent. Wesker's voice actor's so good. You know, it really is. Probably the... <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna release the tyrant Mary. to have it kill you, but instead I change my mind and I'm gonna shoot you now. <laughs> no, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it I mean, you're a little family, bit to blame. I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. <laughs> Maybe killing Barry is how you get the quick ending. I can't remember. The Star Wars back to tank that Luke was in. Damn it! Is Wesker supposed to die here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Wesker gets pimp slapped by the the tyrant. Oh, I love that quote. <laughs> Such a dumb you want quote. A piece of me? What? Premature. Like I don't, I don't get why the the tyrant just takes the time to just go over and kill Wesker. No, Barry. No, Barry. <laughs> also a good line. <laughs> oh uh, shit. Game's goofy. <laughs> I should combine these and try not to get hit again. The tyrant just takes oh, time that was out easy. Of Great. Over. Good job. We did it, team. All right, let's skim through his notes. He discovered the G virus, blah, blah, blah. There's a prototype parasite, which we have delivered from France. Um, everything is clear to Wesker now. The prototype parasite was something that evolved. Um, Las Plagas. I was able to create a method or something that the G now is better than T. Something about BOWs. Oh, wait, this is Birkins Birkin? running around. Yeah. Because he's talking about the G virus and G virus was his baby. Should I check on Barry? Yeah, you might as well. You're in the room with him. Barry! Barry! Get up, Barry, man. you got fucked up. You're okay. <laughs> Jill. Here, take my goggle. <laughs> was careless of me. She's like smiling with her eyes while during that scene. Gone. First, let's just get out of here. Oh shit, where did Wesker go? Gets shot like three times. He gets I punched forgot by a how tyrant. you get Wesker. We'll see what ending I get. I hope I don't have to fight the tyrant again. Wesker just goes off and dies on his own. He the goes off and starts the self thing was activated. I yeah, think Wesker you have to let Barry die. Wesker goes off and crawls away and activates it and then he gets his head ripped off by a chimera i think i do have to fight the the tyrant again because this is this is the part of the game in the book where wesker is giving his stupid internal monologue as he presses the buttons and then he gets the top of his head ripped off by a chimera and he's like i'll kill them all even if i have to die with them and then the camera just yoinks his head. And he's like, like, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> like, like, literally, he has a moment of realization of like the chimera, like ripping off his scalp and stabbing into his brain. <laughs> All right, let's replace the shotgun with this thing. And probably grab an aid spray. 
Yeah. Grab one of those. One of those. One of those. Get rid of that. Add that. This is the last save of the game. <laughs> This one for sure. <laughs> Blazing through the game. <laughs> Remember when I said there was five minutes of the game left? About ten minutes ago. <laughs> Brick and Wesker just had to get up. Um, okay, hold on. Combine. So I think if you let Barry die, you and Wesker are alone in the lab, and I think the tyrant impales him so he doesn't get up. I don't have time for you all. Maybe. <laughs> you all need to get out of here. This place is not slow. <laughs> Run for your life. Are tiger. you not a crimson head still? Wow. The guy coming up. I feel like there's one guy that has to be up here. No, they're gone. That one guy on the stairs never turned. That's weird. <laughs> That's even more worrying that he never turned. Uh, wow, there's another safe spot right, right here. Man, now I gotta get my ass kicked by the tyrant. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> this is like, blast. I'm really bad at this boss fight. Put on blast live on stream. The four hour long video we've done. Brad, you better fucking get here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm running out of fuel. Brad's been like, I've been night. flying around the mansion where you're all hiding for safety no, I, from the dogs outside. No, he wasn't flying around the mansion. He flew back to the city and then he flew around the city for a while thinking to himself, oh god, I ran away. <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> I shouldn't go back for him. No one will know. Oh, but they told them they were going to the mansion tonight. If I come back and they don't, they're going to ask questions. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Three minutes to detonation. Three minutes to beat this game. We're almost there. I bet you the game will end in three minutes. You just get in contact with Brad. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Oh, no, because there's okay. still credits in the end cutscene and <laughs> stuff. I hate that the timer starts on the elevator. <laughs> Be dramatic. So you don't actually have three minutes. You have slightly less than three minutes. This looks important. I hope a guy with a giant arm doesn't come up here and stop me. I know, that'd be great if I could just leave. <laughs> Barry, I have a question. Did you kill Enrico? Oh, this isn't the time. <laughs> we never we never get a good look at Barry's boots. It could have been him or it could have been Wesker. Who knows? Hey, Barry, maybe you should have reload, reloaded your gun after you shot Wesker a couple times. Oh, man. <laughs> Barry just got launched across the roof. All right, so they changed the camera angle, and I don't know if it's because there was a kickback from the Magnum or if it's like, you gotta run when the camera changes. 
So I guess we're running. Well, nope. It was the kickback. Barry got yeeted across the roof. What am I doing? What buttons am I pressing? What am I doing? <laughs> All the wrong ones. That is a pitiful shot. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, no. <laughs> I did not realize the distance would be that bad. All right, great. <laughs> Shoot him in the dick. Oh, he's winding up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. Should we heal first? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. We're healing, though. Fuck you, nerd. What? Uh -oh. I've yeah, never had that happen chance. before. Yeah, there's a chance he can knock it away. Boom! He only does it once, though. But yeah, that's why they give you four rockets, and then, like, you'll have the first one miss, and it'll be like, oh, shit. I've never had the that second one before. That is I, I've never had it. I've never had it miss more than once. I've only ever seen it uh, miss once. And any time either I've played it or watched it happen. It would be funny if you could miss all four, though. It's fine, guys. Chris escaped. <laughs> Allegedly. It's fine. You do. You, I dare you to find him in those pixels. <laughs> There's part of him. <laughs> Jill's just like, I wonder where Chris is. And Barry's like, who? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Barry let him out of his cell. See, I just know. we know he's alive. I mean, to be fair, in Chris's version of the story, Chris escapes on his own. So no, you can save Jill. Well, no, no. I mean, Chris, like at the start of the game, he gets out of the situation on his own. Oh, but he only has a knife at the start of the game. He doesn't have a gun. Because Wesker took his gun or whatever. All right. We do not need to watch these credits. Jill, you did a fine job. What is she doing with that knife? Commando, Jill. All right, we did it in three hours and 59 minutes. Not, I just got a, a achievement. Finish the game in five hours. Great. Good job. Ugh. Ugh. got a closet key what costume did you unlock maybe re3 jill there's another one though i can't remember what it is aka the best jill what was the third outfit man what what a disappointment that uh the dino crisis outfit regina's outfit isn't in the remake of three. Oh god Damn it! <laughs> What'd you do? I wanted to look at the costume and I accidentally hit yes on Chris. Fucking. <laughs> this is all Chris. This is why I left you for dead in the mansion. Oh, man. And Fred from Scooby Doo ass motherfucker. <laughs> There are only three stars. That's why he got jacked before the five. Is he got tired of being compared to Scooby Doo, but only the live action Fred. Take me back to the menu, please. I just want to see the costume. Just That's don't it. Don't do it. Again. Don't do it again. Resident Evil. We unlocked RE3 Jill. Well, there you go. That's what happened. It's been <laughs> a four hour let's play of RE1. <laughs> it's going to be uploaded all as one video. 
still faster than maybe multiple videos. I don't know him, but maybe all one. Resident Evil, the the movie, (laughs) a four hour movie, the Zack Snyder cut of Resident Evil. (laughs) Not enough Marthas. I don't understand that joke. Uh, It's because Martha Wayne and Martha Kent, both Superman and Batman's moms are named Martha. (laughs) It's so stupid. I hate comics. (laughs) We are ending the video. It is 5.30 a.m.